We back, family! Game of life! Welcome back. I'm so proud to see y'all. I'm so happy that the viewers tuning back in. Um, got a lot of love I want to give y'all. Um, but you know what we're about here. It's your one and only host, the real OG. Uh, game of life is where we at. We're talking about here on the planet. Hey, we playing a game, right? If you didn't know, we finna break it down for you so you can get in there. To my real OG mamas, to my people that are doing what they're doing, to my future OG people, embrace it, break out your pen. Um, we want to give love out there. That's what we're all about. And this show here is about health, wealth, and happiness. Um, and this is where it really gets real because we're going to keep it with community and we're going to bring in love. Now, I'm hoping right now that the people that we got that's following us and coming in and... and, and supporting and believing in what we're doing. I see the spirits in our community all over the place and we're growing, we're growing all over the place and we need to keep that pace going. Um, I'm here in the Michigan area and I see it um, happening and, and, and some people are not with it. So my thing is gonna be on cause and effect is gonna be the topics for the day. Cause and effects. Um, Cause we, we got here from a, situation and we hoping to learn from the things and grow and have an effect from it um i had a few things like i had said happen earlier this week um that kind of touched me and me being able to take my feelings off and i'm trying to get you all out there to be able to do the same and uh, so i'm gonna be speaking to the ladies and i'm gonna be speaking to the men separate on how cause and effect kind of plays a role in our life. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, y'all make sure y'all uh, hitting the subscribe buttons. Y'all um, hitting the follows if y'all out there in um, YouTube and the social media world. Because I know if y'all watching it on the network, y'all can't do that. But please go on to the, the um, YouTube and follow up and follow back on the show and hit the comments and let us know, you know, what you think about what we're doing and um because we need that you know that's all about support and that's how we do it you know what i'm saying a lot of times we can't be asking for support and money you know but just supporting in those type of manners especially in the day social world we need that you know what i'm saying um but getting into the, the, the cause and effect and, and and my thing was with um a young lady came in to uh our networks actually and um she was looking for a church and um on our our, our, our particular building you know we and, and y'all may see some of the things and people that know me you know may know that okay i had the thing to say about true believer being a true believer and i speak on here about being one with god you know what i'm saying and saying don't have horizontal issues Let's be on vertical issues, people. Let's be on vertical issues. Because I believe in God, and I've already said that. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you believe in um, you're Christian, you're Catholic, you're uh, a Muslim, you're a Jew, hey, I have no problem with any of that. You know what I'm saying? But we have vertical issues. A lot of times, our vertical issues within ourselves affect how we go and do and think actually, you know what I'm saying? And we've talked about, you know, what do you believe? That's going to be the makeup of your whole life. This is going to determine how you think, what you believe. But the young lady came and she was said she was looking for a church. This was the premise that she told us that she was looking for a church. And um, so we're like, okay, well, no, it's not church or anything like that. And we started explaining about um this being a network that she had came to and of course you know we showed her our things and she had uh, it went into some, something way 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 off you know what i'm saying and we as people a lot of times um i don't know <laughs> we get into our things especially as far as women we got to understand we we know that you have um more emotions. I ain't saying men are emotionless. 
And a lot of women say to men, oh, he ain't got no emotions, he don't care about nothing, da, da. No, we, we, have, we have two different types of makeup that builds us and make us who we are. It's about chromosomes and different things. Now, that'd be a long, whole nother show that we could get into about that. But me understanding that this lady um, was emotional. She just, oh, the women on there, they're half naked, and this is what you're applying, and we see this stuff all over here. And, and I'm like, okay, well, I talk about, if you've seen the network, we have a Sunday channel that we speak about God. We have the gospel and everything else out there. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it makes you wonder, you know, okay, at that point, I was like, okay, well, what is your real tendency to come here? You know what I'm saying? So I let her go ahead on and on and on. And I don't want that to take up the whole show. But the, the end point, I said, okay, well, we're not agreeing here. You know what I'm saying? I said, because first of all, the ladies aren't naked on here. They very well clothed. And even on the other one, the lady, as y'all seen advertised, she's clothed also. So I, I got what she was trying to say, but she wasn't even listening to me. You know what I mean? And it was pretty much uh, a mindset. I said, okay, you you preaching to the choir because I'm already there. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I'm saying to you, I'm trying to reach people at their level. If you're talking to the choir and, and the preacher is preaching to the choir, he's not going out there into the world and reaching the people with that. And then you can't talk down to people. You know what I'm saying? Please. People, if you're thinking somebody going to listen to you, it's just like you're talking to your kid and you're talking down to your kid. He's not going to gonna say, yeah, because you're the parent. You have the power. They're not really receptive. Now, when you play with your kid and then you ask, hey, why would you do that? You know what I'm saying? They're going to be more tenants to say, oh, yeah, I know I was wrong, blah, blah, on and on and on. But this young lady said, well, I don't believe you believe in God. I believe in God more than you. Yeah, I got to give you a moment to take that in out there. You know what I'm saying? If somebody told you something similar to that, you already know the things that you have done in your life to show that you care about human beings. Now, this is a, a self. It's when you get into yourself. You know what I'm saying? And I said, no, okay. If that's what you say, I say, but I'm going to say this to you is I know I believe in God more than you because of my actions. I see you as a human being. You know what I'm saying? You seeing one sided. Now, I need you all to definitely come in and chime in in the comments later on and, and just get your opinion on, you know, what you may think about that situation. Um, but women and men have two different attitudes and I felt that she wanted a reaction out of me, you know what I mean, when she said it, to hopefully I go somewhere else and then she already have her automatic response. But when I said what I said, it just stopped. She just looked dumbfounded, you know, totally lost. I said, well, if if <laughs> you're saying what you're saying, you shouldn't be here. And I don't think you're actually looking for a church when you say you were coming here looking for this building because there's thousands of churches here. You don't see... You haven't seen any cars here in this lot, so why would you stop? You're on another mission, so to speak. And there's a lot of us out there on other missions. You know, we got to grab ourselves and, and hold ourselves accountable because the things that you do cause different reactions. You put yourself in different spaces. You do this to yourself. You, you do these things. Most of anything that's going on in your life, Right now, you're 80% accountable for where you're at or what you're doing. So you need to really think about that. And you know that's what we're about here. We're about health, wealth, and happiness. How can you be happy, you know what I'm saying, if you don't have good mental stability? It's, this is an exercise. You can exercise your mind as well as you exercise your body. But you have to be conscious of what you're doing, what you're taking in. Now, we've talked about these different things that you can learn all the time. And we should be constantly trying to learn and become a better person. Now, I felt like they transposed from some other part. And most people that get off into um, our spiritual beliefs usually come from, you know, has some dark past. 
and overcoming it. And I've talked about people that I see been had drug problems or drinking problems or anger issues. And I felt like how, wow, their life is here. And by the spirits and the graces of God, they made full 360. But that happened within them. People, you are co-creators. I need you all to know that. God is the ultimate creator, and he put us here as co-creators. So the God is within you. You have to harness that and understand that so you can convey this to other people. You have to understand, men and women, we need each other to be complete. You know what I mean? We, and here in the world, it's only one race, and it's the human race. But we're playing a game, and we segment it out. And like I said, we'll get into this, and I hope y'all keep following to take this beautiful journey that we're on, learning, you know what I'm saying, and growing and, and, and building community, building real community. I mean, because, I, hey, our stats, I see, I see more overseas people watching our show than we have here, and we just starting off. So this is a beautiful thing. That's letting you know that this world is a... Um, it's a small place, smaller, much smaller place nowadays. Much, much smaller place. Um, but I have to think, okay, what did she leave with when it was time for her to leave? Because I had to cut the conversation. Like, okay, we're not going anywhere. I put that on her mind. and it, She had put something on my mind. But I had took it that this was something for God preparing me for what we embarking on as we grow, you know. I know people feel a certain way and think a certain way and all of it. And as I've t said here, time before we will say again, if you don't want nothing, that's fine. Whatever you want with your life, it's your life. It's your life. But I'm hoping, and what I try to bring is value to people. I try to bring value because I know you may not even know me. Whoever else is sitting in them rooms don't know what I'm saying, that's why I stop a lot of time to make sure that I'm selective in my wording and, and try to be precise because I know I'm not sitting with a friend that we're having a back and forth conversation. I'm the one doing the conversation here and I'm telling the opinions and the views that I've studied on and have come um, under my, my, my inspiration and my knowledge. And, and just conveying it back, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, this is a two-way street. That's why I always ask for the comments. And um, I love when people tell me different things out there. I don't try to be too opinionated, you know what I'm saying? I mean, all of us are going to have opinions. A lot of us will say, I don't got no opinion. Oh, no, I, I know how to do this, this, and that other. But judgment is a natural thing. We have feelings. I mean, when somebody stick you, you get hurt, you know what I'm saying? And some people don't hurt as, as bad. If they've been trained to block the pain out, you know what I'm saying? But you still got to breathe in air. You you still got to eat. So being human is just a natural thing. But like I said, the topic of the show was the cause and effect. You know what I mean? When she came here for a different reason, she left on a different reason. Same thing she caused and had me think and rethink. And... I'm here talking to you all, passing this on, trying to feel, okay, what energy this is, and um, getting an understanding out here. But I just want to really um, put out there um, how you can get different places and, 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 and what do you really want out of your life, you know what I'm saying? Because you can get out here on some random missions, you know, and, and that's very easy to do get out here on some random missions and not know why you you doing what you're doing because this is for real for real for real your action speak louder than your words you can say one thing and you can do something else when i'm seeing you living your life and doing something that's your actions you may say okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this but you're doing something else and trust and believe if you have young people out here and I've been expressing this to my older people about our younger people are the future. But it ain't no future if you don't take care of right now. But you see, 
That's why we, in 50 years, and our movement in the community, and I'm speaking to the black community right now. Y'all know I can jump around a lot of time, but right now I'm speaking specifically to the black community because of where we at since 1970, we'll say 71, <laughs> to 2021, the condition we're in, monetarily, we're not in control of our community, and there's no reason that we shouldn't be. And that's because of lack of cause. So we haven't had an effect. Our effects have been very negative within our community. And it's simple. All of us got to do is take care of ourselves, take care of our one environment. If all of us do that, we'll be fine. That's why I said we, have, we know a lot of that's not going to happen. We have to start building and start understanding and start believing in one another. And if you're a human being out there, I believe in you because I believe in myself. I believe in what I can do and I believe in what I'm going to do. I believe in the people that come in contact with me. I try to bring value and I want to see the best. A lot of us don't understand about seeing the best and wanting the best because we have different issues going on. Now I want you to take a evaluation of where you're at right now. And um, like I said, it's part of breaking out the pen and pencil. And it's just, like I said, I'm just here to, to ring the alarm. I'm not here to be nobody's daddy. I'm not here to be, you know, somebody being judgmental. I'm just taking a toll of what happened. If we don't talk about what's going on, we can't come up with solutions, people. So that's the main thing that we want to be doing. We want to be mindful of um, what are you doing with yourself? Think about that. And think about wanting to express to your loved ones, hopefully you want the best for them. You want them to grow up and, and, and be um, ready to challenge the world and, and, and go to that next level. Because right now, we spoke about being on an old system. We're on an old blueprint. It's, it's a new time. It's a new age. And we need to be breaking out a new blueprint for that. For our community, that's how we're going to grow. And that's the only way we're going to grow. You know, um, and action is a process. It's a process, and we have to learn that. And these things are take systems. It's like when you have a system, it makes everything easier. You don't have to go do it. The system is in place. When you in a, a bigger um, work environment, everybody has their tasks. And at the end, it's just like on, on a General Motors assembly line, it started here. And as it goes down the line, it's then built into that car. It's like any other product. And I want you all to be looking at yourself like that, you know what I'm saying? That, okay, where am I going? Because it's easy to get lost out here and, and, and learn um, what have the, the, the soul purpose inside yourself, you know what I'm saying, where you're going. And, and, and be very mindful of, of where do these causes and effects because... When you do something, it's all about the impact. And, and and we as adults, we have to be very, very super mindful of what we do. You may say something because your parents said something to you or done something to you, and you haven't thought about the effect or the impact that it had on your life. And when you change, it's your kids or the kids are around you or the young people around you don't have the same upbringing as they had before with the other things that are in place because it used to be a real village. Now people don't want you to talk to their kids. They don't want you doing this. You know what I mean? Now if you, if you find, if I spoke before on, and you see somebody, or a kid or a nephew, or please take them under your wing so we can start having better effects in our community. I mean, we want to have, a, um, we want to be sending it home um, across the board. Now when I look out here in the spear, um, and I'm talking about as far as the social media, I mean, I see a lot of nonsense going on that that's fine. I mean, because we want to be entertained. But I, I see a lot of good things out here. I mean, I go down to YouTube, and it's all about what you look up, because, I mean, what well, the YouTube stuff have millions of channels out there, you know what I'm saying? Just about anything you want to learn about spoken on, even if you can't afford to go to college now, you can get you a college education just being on the YouTube. If you know how to search 
what you're looking for. That's all you got to do is know. And, and once you find a particular area, it's so many of us creators. And I put myself in that creator kind of because you have to speak things into existence. If you start speaking stuff and then start acting on it, then you're God in motion. Now, if you're just talking and you ain't doing nothing, I'm not going to give you that title. You know what I mean? You're just somebody out here and you have a God thing. You don't even know that you have it. It's like having a, a, a cell phone and, and you're older and, and don't understand what you have in your hand. You have a computer box that has access to a number of things. It's just like your life, who you are, your mental capacity. This brain is endless, especially now today. Have I spoken about different types of property? Um, you don't even have to go and... and to the um to create something like a book and different things like that you can create it instantly now i mean you have the facebooks you have the the tiktoks you have all these platforms that you can put your stuff out there and start having people coming and responding and buying things from you instantly within a day so all you got to do to do is go out there and formulate what you're really trying to do which shouldn't be that hard, you know what I'm saying? But it, you got to get to thinking. It's a thinking process. And if you're not thinking properly, you can't do it. Like I say, it's a cause, it's an effect. Now, how do we get here in this position of dormant state? You know, it's all about being dumbed down. You know, the majority of, of the world is being dumbed down. They want you, everything on autopilot. Everybody on autopilot. If you want everything on autopilot, then I program you, and that's what we've been done. We're going to talk about the indoctrination and, pro and, and um, programming that has gone on. And because our community definitely, like I said, once again, I'm talking to the black community, my black people out there. I mean, all my other people that's overseas, and I, I know I've got a lot of different demographics out here just actually pulling in and, and tuning into the information, I think it's a beautiful thing because the supporters that we need within our black community, we need, you know, be pulling resources from everywhere if possible. But we we have to know the proper ways to um, access these things. And I, I, I've seen out here there's a lot of um, young people don't um, know that they have a lot of things at their fingertips to do. And, and, that, and that's only, only because of encouragement. They, they, they're they not having the proper encouragement a lot of times at home. And I, I talked about before that when I talk about them haters, you know, when I be doing my hater thing, um, sometimes your biggest hater can be your family member. You know what I'm saying? If they're not encouraging you, not building you up, not making you strong, that, that that's an easy uh, road to go down. But I need you to, you all out there that maybe don't have no people um, pushing you and believing in you to understand. All you got to do is believe in yourself. I need you all to grasp that and understand that, you know, because you're the only one that can um, get you to do what you need to do. I can want for you to, to do something and be something. That may not be what it's going to be. Only you can want for you. And... I know how we are in relationships and you want that guy to act right and or you the guy and you want you want her to love you more. And a lot of times that don't happen. You can't you can't make somebody do something that you don't want them to do, you know what I'm saying? And you can scare them and a bunch of other stuff. But you got to, I mean, you got to check yourself first, you know what I'm saying? And if you're putting out and giving something, then it'll come back. And that person may not be for you, you know what I mean, that you're trying. Now, as far as our kids, we got to definitely be trying to build that situation up to the highest level. Um, I know I'm, I'm getting I'm getting close to my time. Like I said, when we having good conversations like this, hey, that time fly by, you know. I got to do my quick uh, PSA. I kind of already talked about, you know, the network a little bit. But I need y'all to go out there and check it out. If y'all out there on Sundial and y'all are already checking us out, y'all already know where it's at. But people that's out there in um, the social media world, the Facebooks, the um, Instagram, the YouTube, y'all go out there and check it out. It's S-U-N-D-I-A-L dot TV. 
that's for my more mature, and it's just for an urban community. You know what I'm saying? Y'all check that out. I got we have another network that's a high dimension. That's h i g h d dot tv. Y'all check that out. And that's uh, more mainstream. We have a lot more uh, original uh, programming coming with that. I need y'all to make sure y'all hitting the likes, the shares, the uh, notifications, subs, and uh, follow. Um, we we really love you all for um, supporting and, and, and believing in us and giving us your time because you could have went anywhere else and um, spent your time with them. We want you to see y'all come back. We want to be supporting you all. Um, I mean, make sure y'all drink y'all water because you know we about health, wealth, and happiness. And you cannot be happy, truly happy, if you're in poor health. It's hard to be truly wealthy because his wealth comes in various forms. And I, I got you all that got to know that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, monetary wealth is great, and that's what we all want to be striving for because it makes a lot of other things much easier for us. You know what I'm saying? But you can have wealth within yourself, and that's having good health, a good mind, a good strong mind, and a good family. You know what I'm saying? If you just by yourself and you got good friends, that's a family. You create that and make that your family, but that's wealth within itself. You know what I'm saying? But you got to have health first and foremost. If you sick and, and, and you down and out and you can't breathe, you're going to have a lot of other problems, it's hard to be there. So please be getting out there, y'all. I ain't ask you to turn into um, no Olympic athlete or anything, but uh, hey, you can get out there and walk, walk around your block a couple times, cause and effect. You start taking better care of yourself, you're going to start feeling better. Hey, it's y'all boy, the real OG, bringing it to y'all. It's the game of life. Till next time, peace, and I love y'all. Live at Blackstone Smokehouse, showcasing the Eclipse Band, and also featuring tomorrow's future talent and star, only on Sundial Networks, Tuesday and Thursday nights, 7 p.m., Saturday, 8 p.m. If you're in the live bands, open mic talent, we have a treat for you, only on Sundial Networks, every Tuesday and Thursday night, 7 p.m., Saturday, 8 p.m. If you're in the Flint area, please come to see the live tape at Blackstone, downtown Flint, every Thursday night, 7 to 10 p.m. A new TV channel, Sundial.tv. That's S U N D I A L. TV. Urban culture, music, lifestyle, fashion, talk shows, comedy, and more. Check us out at Sundial.tv. TV lineup, what happened to that one hit wonder? The battle. New versus old. Top 100 countdown. Old school mix up. Slow jam. Sundial sub. Put us in your browser. S U N T I A L. TV. A new way to watch TV on the web. Check us out. Hi D. TV. That's H I G H D. TV. High Dimension Networks. The lineup. Top 100 of all time. Old school hip hop. What's new now? Top 10 from the street. That's my jam. New to the game. And legends in music. Yeah, that's right. It's about time. Something new in TV. A brand new game. New flavor in TV. High Dimension Network. H I G H D dot TV. When you're ready to go from local to global, Web TV can help you reach your prospective audience and hit the target with your product, service, or brand in a personalized ad campaign with business packages from every size of business. When you're ready to do some new and cool stuff, come and see us at Web TV. This could be your commercial being seen by thousands of viewers. You can email us at webtvmedia1 at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you.